Hey there, so in this video you can see that I'm going to be making a sculpture of the Woodman from the Netflix TV show Hilda. If you don't know the TV show Hilda, you're an idiot. Let me explain what it's about to you. Basically it's about this girl named Hilda who lives in the woods with her mother and then has to relocate to a big city called Trollberg and the show kind of deals with her uh, adjusting to city life. But also the show is set in this world where like fantastical elements and creatures from like folklore just exist. And like most people just know about them and just like oh trolls are real and they just accept it it's weird because it's grounded quite in reality it's like a realistic world but there's fantasy elements it's really interesting and i think the show kind of fits in what i th think might be my favorite genre which is like children's horror or family horror you might call it it's a couple of things that usually tie this genre together most most movies or tv shows in this genre usually have like a child protagonist usually like monsters and fantasy elements that either adults know about and ignore or they're oblivious to or they don't believe they exist and only kids kind of believe they exist. Um, I'll talk about some other shows that are like Hilda um, that fit into that genre but first of all this sculpture I should say is based off one of my favourite moments from Hilda where her and the woodman, this weird creepy character, get lost in the woods and Hilda suggests that they should find a place to rest for the night. It's almost dark. We'll have to settle down for the night soon. Agreed. I was hoping to find something a bit more comfy. Okay, so the first show I want to talk about is Gravity Falls. Basically, if you don't know Gravity Falls, um, a brother and sister, twins, Dipper and Mabel have to go live with their uncle in Gravity Falls for the summer and nothing is what it seems in Gravity Falls. That's a common uh, tagline for a lot of like children, family horror shows. Nothing is what it seems in Insert Small Town Here. Uh, this show was created by a guy called Alex Hirsch. It had two seasons. It could have done more, but I think he wanted to stop before he ran out of ideas, which is great because it ended on a really high note. Um, basically, the show is the same thing. It's kind of like Dipper and Mabel move to this small town. There's lots of weird monsters, kind of, I guess people know about it, or they kind of don't know about it. You never really know what's going on. What was really good about Gravity Falls is they had all these codes. Not only were there codes in the show, Dipper had this magic book. Oh, I use nails for the legs, by the way, so you can see. Dipper had this magic book that had all these codes, but there were also codes, like, in the credits of the show that I remember sitting there watching, like, with a notebook, like, oh my god, I'm trying to get these notes. Um, <coughs> so that was a very good show. Moving on to another show, Eerie Indiana. This show is a lot older. Uh, this was like uh, early 90s, I think. Um, this was a big inspiration for Alex Hirsch in creating Gravity Falls. He's cited um, as an influence on him. You can definitely tell it's that same kind of feel. You know, nothing's what it seems in Eerie Indiana. This show is just about a kid who lives in a town where strange stuff happens. Very similar to the other ones. What's similar uh, about Gravity Falls and Eerie Indiana and Hilda is that a lot of these shows usually have the child protagonist taking on this kind of investment investigative reporter journalism role where they document and keep evidence of all the creepy stuff that they've seen. You can see that the statue is dried by the way. I just use air dry clay so I'm moving on to painting now. Um, they take on this reporter role where they collect stuff and that definitely happens in Erie, Indiana. He has this little shrine of all the stuff he's found in Gravity Falls. He has the notebook. A uh, guy that worked on here in Indiana, a dude called Joe Dante who's a director who's made some films that I think kind of fit into this the family horror theme. So you've got uh, Gremlins, Small Soldiers, The Hole, which is not as well known, but it's pretty good. It's a bit gimmicky. It was in 3D, but I really liked it. Um, so he's worked on a lot of adult horror as well, but he's kind of delved into children's horror. Just starting to paint the woodman now. Um, Anyway, that show got cancelled, which sucks because I, I think it had a lot more stories to tell. There's only maybe 13 episodes, I can't quite remember, but check that one out. Obviously, of course, Goosebumps fits in this thing as well. That was not so... I don't like Goosebumps as much because it doesn't have a huge story that goes throughout because obviously it's an anthology, so each episode is like new characters, a new story. But what I really liked about Goosebumps is the whole... You felt like really unsafe the whole time. Like something really bad was going to happen. Like it was that feeling of horror, even though no, it wasn't really gory or had murders. I think it probably had... Like about the Goosebumps movies, they were a bit too funny for my liking. You never had that feeling of like, this is this is effed up, this crazy stuff's gonna happen. Um, quickly before I get to the end, because I'm adding the blackwash to the woodman now, some honorable mentions, an Australian show called Round the Twist, basically the same story as all the other ones, but different people. Um, the Haunting Hour, which is kind of like an anthology. There's a bunch of other ones. I want you guys to jump in the comments now that you know my favorite genre is family horror. 
what other movies and TV shows fit in this family horror genre? Um, you can see I finished the statue, there you go. Or oh, sculpture, I don't know if you can call it a statue. What's the difference? Who, who cares? Um, this, this statue is better if you've watched the show and you understand how funny it is that the Woodman just was just lying in the middle of the forest. But you can probably still appreciate the craftsmanship of it even if you haven't seen the show. Again, you're an idiot if you haven't seen the show. Go watch it, it's on Netflix right now. Um, I want to read the graphic novels now. I haven't read them before, but I'm going to go do it. Jump in the comments, let me know other shows that are family horror. Also, why is family horror your favourite genre? And it is, because it's the best genre. Thank you for watching, goodbye.